It is a joint press briefing by the spokespersons of the armed forces of Nigeria on the level of preparedness and proactiveness of security agencies in ensuring the peaceful conduct of the election. The Director of Defense Information Brigadier General Tsukur Gusau reads the riot act to those whose intention is to break down law and order during the electoral process. Just as the police spokesperson, CSP Ulumu Iwade Jobi, reiterated the ban on legal groups, organizations, and other things that contravenes the stipulated rule during the election. I want to use this opportunity to re echo the warning of the CDS to undesirable elements that the armed forces of Nigeria and other security agencies are ready and will support any threat to peace and tranquility. Strong force will be applied to those that want to cause breach of public peace during the general elections. The armed forces of Nigeria has adequately sensitized its personnel on their expected roles throughout the period of the elections. Ban on unauthorized use of vehicles, sirens, revolving lights, uncovered number plates, unregistered vehicles, tinted glasses, is still in force. While the election is on, officers and men have been deployed to carry out election duty. We still take note of this and arrest any violator of this order. Spokesman, Department of State Services, Dr. Peter Afunaya, reels out arrest made with the recovery of arms and ammunition of assorted mix. In Kaduna State, two armed couriers, namely Tukor Yusuf, and Ilya Shadamu were arrested at Chikun local government area on 20th February 2023. 372 rounds of ammunition, 26 rounds of live ammunition for GPMG were recovered from them. They do were suspected armed suppliers to bandits and Zamfara. Meanwhile, the troops on the front line of operation disclosed that three terrorists at Damba community in Chukun, local government area of Kaduna State, were arrested, of which one of them is the mastermind of the March 28 Abuja Kaduna train attack. Director of Defense Media Operations, Major General Musa Damadami, made this known in Abuja at the bi weekly media briefing. He also explains the efforts of troops in reading out illegal oil bunkering in the South South Zone. It is worthy to note that the sum of 222,338,430 Naira were denied oil theft within the week under review. Equally, the air component of Operation Delta C carried out a series of air interdiction operations within the theater of operation that recorded some remarkable achievements. Also, the Chief of Defense Staff, General Loki Irabo, received an election monitoring team delegation led by the head of mission, Dr. Ernest Koruma. Uh, we are having this engagement with uh, the security uh, outfit uh, for us to hear from you, for us to share with you what the concerns that we have had uh, from the engagement we have had with other uh, stakeholders. So I'd like to assure you that um, our professional standing um, is, is um, we are confident that um, um, there will be no hitch um, that will make the military call out in whatever um, um, circumstances. We also believe that as part of your monitoring and which we have alluded to your is the fact that we have engaged with the uh, political actors, which we also believe that there are men and women who, of course, um, desire good for our country. And so they will um, have great you know, control of their supporters for them to play the role by the game. Uluwa Tobi Viable TV.